we are about to head out today and head to California. Um, California is going to be really interesting because there are fires everywhere, um, including the Redwood National Forest. Um, a lot of those state parks, unfortunately, are getting hit right now with fire. Um, so our plans may change a little bit for tomorrow, which is what our plans were, was to actually go to Redwood National Forest. So we may just drive around and see some forests that we can, but that'll be interesting. You ready to hook up? California border. Still probably have like 10, 15 miles or so to get to the California border. And as you can see, this isn't fog. This is how much smoke is in the air, California. Yep, seems to just be getting uh, hazier and hazier as we're going south. Yep. Sad. Hopefully these fires end soon. There's a lot of them. They're taking over this whole state. All right, welcome back to Journal Worthy Journey. Uh, man, it has been a minute since I've been able to get one of these videos out, but I'm back on it and we are back on the road as well. Uh, you probably see somewhere in the background, the RV park back there. In our last video, we were in Oregon and as you just saw, we we're heading on down to California. Taylor had looked at uh, information online, seen that there was fires down there in the area and a bit of smoke and all that. We were hopeful that maybe we wouldn't really be affected by it. We could go enjoy the redwoods. But as we got close to California, we were really seeing the haze. And as we kept driving further into it, it just kept coming. These are the Smoky Mountains. California really knows how to do it. Huh? So I think that's Mount Shasta up there. And we couldn't hardly see it as we got close to it. The direction that we came because of the amount of smoke we're getting a little bit more visibility to it now but it's still pretty super smoky and hazy around it looks like a pretty awesome mountain though so we're gonna have a uh, quick discussion as we're getting close to our campground now this is pretty crazy yeah. thus far um, it's super smoky um, so much so that we are contemplating whether or not to even stay for long this week or if we want to go ahead and try and move. Yeah, maybe move on tomorrow. Yeah. Move tomorrow and not go to the Redwoods or anything because we're going to be miserable this week in this smoke. We already have pretty bad allergies. This just is a kicker. So... Yeah, I figured it might. We're gonna have to be a research. Smoky, but the fact that we can barely see like a mile, maybe, maybe. Yeah. 
Well, all I knew is that the weather forecast today was hazy um, because of how many fires there have been in California. It's just, so I honestly have no idea what is around the corner within the next couple days. It may clear up a little bit and it may be fine, but it's quite smoky here in California. Yeah, it's not gotten better. I was wondering if it get better or worse as we got closer to our campground. It's gotten significantly worse. Yeah. So that'll be the discussion of tonight is going to be come tomorrow. Are we pulling up and heading on to Nevada? Yep. California may be a night, a single nighter, unfortunately. I'm really looking forward to California. Better this is a bit of a bummer. Better get the sticker on when we get there. <laughs> right. <laughs> Pretty much. Look how smoky this is. Like really, really, really smoky. It's a lot of fire trucks. I'm sure they're going to fight a fire. Yep, all lined up. Sitting around in the smoke. All lined up on the bridge. River. Durango RV Resort? Yep. Nice, look at that thing. Take exit six. Yep. You were right. That is bits of ash. I don't know if this will come out or not. But there is ash everywhere. Just as we open the doors and stuff from the truck, you can see it really well on this black bag. But the ash is just drifting everywhere in the air. And that's what that is. It's from the fires. Can I stop you right now and talk with you about something real quick? Sure. Um, so I have Sparks Marina on the phone. All right. Um, they said air quality there is also really bad, um, but it is further away from the fires. So even though it is unhealthy, it's probably gonna be better than what we're dealing with right now. Okay. I'm guessing, obviously ash would not be falling from there. She said there's no ash falling. Okay. Um, do we wanna go ahead and do it? Yep. Yeah, air quality for y'all is definitely better there according to to charts and stuff than here. So uh, I'd rather get out of the heaviness of the smoke right here. <laughs> what fun. Yeah. So it looks like I guess we're doing one night in California. Yeah, sadly. So plans change. Yeah. Um, found that out quite a few times thus far on this adventure and it's probably gonna change some more so yeah. it's something where you know if you're wanting to do this sort of lifestyle you do have to be able to adapt to situations you know looking at this do we want to risk getting stuck here for several more days when it's already this bad you never know maybe it'll get better maybe it'll surprisingly magically be better probably not and there's a decent chance it could get worse yeah. So, yeah. I think they're making the right choice. It's sad, but I do think we're going to make the right choice from going to at least a little bit of better air quality. So we're going to do the California stickers. Since we're only here for a night, and we are doing all of the stickers in the States when we're there. Yeah. So I'm making a point of that. Let's do that now, <laughs> and then the rest of them. Yes. Okay, so for the one night that we're in California now. I need to put on the California sticker. It's kind of fitting. If you look at this, the orange makes it look like the, the trees are on fire a little bit, which is totally fitting with the fact that we are leaving because the state is on fire. <laughs> look at what we've accomplished. <laughs> the tomorrow, it'll already be that one. So then that's this whole section. <laughs> and then a week later, we're getting all three of these. So this whole side. I'd say we accomplished the going west. I think so. 
because uh, I made crazy. sure I'm planning. How smoky is that, huh? That's very smoky. That's crazy. <laughs> I looked up and we walked out of the store and it was like, whoa, look yeah. at the sun. Yeah, that's just it's a pink ball. Absolutely insane. Okay, it's time for our big day here in California, and by big day, what I mean is it's leave. time for us to leave. <laughs> yeah. So we've uh, spent all of a night here, and it's time to go because the smoke says eh, we don't want to really be here anymore. Has cleared out a little bit. Ooh. Has cleared out just a little. Um, as in, like we can see the sun, and it's not a pink blob. Might just be because things anymore. settled overnight. But. It's still hazy outside, and I still think we should leave and go somewhere where the air quality is just a little bit better. Yeah. So, so go that's, through a checklist. That's on the agenda for today. Our, uh, our week here turned out to be a night, and it's time to move on to Nevada. Heading to Reno. I really think our hydraulics are out of whack, and we're gonna make them fix it. What does whack mean? They're not level. They're not working like they're supposed to work. This one drops. And we're out. Just as fast as you can then. to Reno. Bit of haze in the background, but I can at least see, we can see a few miles ahead, at least. So it is nowhere near as thick as what we were in prior. So I've got Friday off to go to Tahoe, and if things continue to be bad, then yeah, maybe we cancel that and I take a half day or whatever we gotta do on somewhere else that won't be a smoke. Yeah, but I would say I'm already a little bit more pleased with this already. Yeah. But there's Reno. We'll be on just the edge of Reno. So we made it down to Sparks Marina RV Park. We were pretty happy to be there in the Reno area, but as it turns out, that particular park was not really our favorite felt a bit like a parking lot itself and cell uh, the cell service wasn't great. We'll show you more about that park 
uh, coming up in the video, but um, yeah, definitely not one of our favorite ones. However, we still feel like we made the right call. Uh, the smoke situation there was dramatically better than where we'd been at in California. So um, yeah, we didn't end up having a whole lot of plans for it, given that we just moved over there. Our plans were really were to go see the Redwoods and that just wasn't gonna happen. So what we ended up doing is trying to figure out a decent time to go see Lake Tahoe. Turns out Lake Tahoe is really close to the Reno area. Um, it's really just right back up those mountains that we'd come down. Now, coming down those, as you saw, full of smoke. So we weren't too sure um, what, what was gonna happen if we were gonna drive back up there. It was just gonna be covered in smoke and not be a great time to go and see it or not. Kinda just played it by ear, checking the weather, seeing what was going on. And finally found an opportunity on Thursday after I got done with work to try going back up there again and having a look. Geese are rolling in. <laughs> well, it is our last night in the Reno area. We weren't here that long. Nope. But then again, we weren't even expecting to actually be here. <laughs> we should have been in California. However, all of those fires have caused uh, us to move. And so we figured we would go see Lake Tahoe. Um, we've been kind of hesitant to do that much outdoors stuff. And because of the fact of all the California fires, we don't even know if we're really even gonna be able to see Lake Tahoe. We are on our way right now to go check it out for a little bit. Looking forward to it. As you can already see in this video, it was a night and day difference heading up to Lake Tahoe on that Thursday versus what the conditions were when we came down on Sunday. We were seeing lots of bright sunshine and blue skies. It was fantastic being able to cleanly see mountains far off in the distance. We took the Mount Rose Highway up, requiring about an hour to get to Lake Tahoe. This is a gorgeous winding drive up the mountains from the desert below. It eventually unwinds to flat lands that will ultimately lead you to views of the lake peeking out from between the trees, just before you reach a very impressive scenic overlook. Who knew we'd actually be able to see the lake today? I mean, what can I say? I'm really good with timing. Yeah, I don't even see any fire around it. <laughs> you know, smoke's mostly clearing out. So, could be worse. Yeah. Not too bad. A little hazy, but hey, we'll take it. Could be way worse. So, this is this is quite nice. So, I guess we'll go a little bit further down to whatever the scenic overlook is and take a look at that. And then I have us going to, I think it's called Sand Harbor, okay. which is supposed to be a little pretty where we could probably walk down. Obviously, we're in shoes. With sand is not always the greatest of things, but eh, if we can see the water a little bit closer. I took these ones on the beach. Or, or, no, actually, I guess the other ones. I don't know where these ones. I took my shoes into the ocean, so whatever. Yeah. All right. Big Lake. Lake Tahoe, the largest alpine lake in North America. 195 square miles. Average depth is 980 feet. Hello. Hey, you picked up. Guess where we are? You are at Lake Tahoe. We are at Lake Tahoe. <laughs> I mean, you can see from the picture, there's a little bit of smoke, but it's, we can see it. So that's a plus. Yeah. It's good news. Yeah. So I guess we picked the right day to do this. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's awesome. We highly recommend checking out that scenic view. And after we had our own look, it was back in the truck and on down the road. Our destination for the next stop was Sand Harbor Beach. Wow, the water is so clear. You yeah. can see it from up here. Yeah. To help you get around the park, 
It has these excellent boardwalks that run back and forth across the place. Allows you to easily access the different rocks and areas to enter the water, the beaches. And it really just spreads out over a big area. It's very well worth spending your time there. I, I'm pretty sure it gets busy, but you can probably still find your own spot to hang out. There were a lot of people there enjoying the water that day. So many people out on paddle boards and jet skis. We really wish we had our own stuff to be able to go and play with, but uh, it was just us, our cameras, and climbing around the rocks, looking for the views. Going. We are just now leaving um, this place called Sand Harbor. It is on Lake Tahoe. Beautiful. Yeah. Really nice sand. Really, really, really nice sand. Um, sea in the water. Uh, big rocks, big trees around. Like it's beautiful. With one more stop for some views, we headed off from the lake. Carson City, the Nevada state capital city, is just south of Reno and a short drive down a highway leading east. We decided to make this little trip into a bigger loop so that we could see the capital grounds. of Capitol buildings. Yep. Today, we're at the uh, Nevada one, the Nevada State Capitol and C Hotel and Casino. Isn't that I right? I literally wouldn't go with the Hotel and Casino part. Oh. But, yes, we are at the Nevada State Capitol um, in Carson City. So we are checking this one out. The last one we saw was Salem. And then before that, we've seen, I guess, Salt Lake City and Olympia. State of Nevada Capitol. Right there. Carson City. Nevada State Capitol, one of the state's oldest communities, was established in 1851. Didn't see that. Kind of blends in. Yeah. Unfortunately, by this point in the evening, everything was closed up. We didn't get to see what it looks like on the inside. But like usual, the grounds surrounding the Capitol buildings are very nice. Lots of statues, a bit of history, a charming little park area overall. Alright, let's go check out Battleborn. Yeah. One of the more unique things that you'll find in this location is their take on a tribute to the state's fallen soldiers. Battleborn. Oh wow. Tribute to Nevada's fallen armed services members. All the names are on pieces up above. I was wondering where the names were. Yeah. And so that was it for Nevada. And it was definitely not enough. Lake Tahoe is amazing. We are so looking forward to going back there at some point, but for now, that, that was all. One last thing to really do, and that's gonna be putting the sticker on the trailer as we get ready to get out of there. We're gonna head on out towards Wyoming. That'll be the next video coming up. Thanks so much for joining us on this one. We'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all. Nevada. Time to put on the Nevada sticker. Now we did not go to Vegas this time, but we did go 
last year. We did drive through it at one point. For my 30th birthday, but we did drive through it with the trailer. That is correct. So, putting a vote on today. We have now completed this whole section. <gasps> After the next two weeks, we'll have those. So it will literally be all of the West, minus Y in Alaska, of course. Yep. But, yeah, that's exciting. It's crazy to think that when we started this in March, it is only August. So it's been five months, but still, it's been five months. We've been able to go to all of these states. And we're adding to it. Quite the tour. Quite the tour. Yep. All right, let's get hooked up. Let's get ready to go. All right, let's jump on that. And then this is the park. And then it's the parking lot. Yeah. And yeah, this has very much a parking lot look and feel to it. What's interesting though, is that we're really supposed to be getting this spot for parking, which our neighbor was already in. But then again, it means we're parking where like our table and our door and stuff is at, instead of parking where our neighbor's table and door and stuff is at. Yeah. So, it actually so, makes sense to park on that side. so they have sewer in the back of their spots, which is where we're really having to extend. Our uh, extensions for it, then it's supposed to be a true 65 foot pull through. Which, eh, that uh, awning would have been a problem with our truck right there because I think we we're supposed to park here because this is site 213. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But, yep, as you can see, we had to park our truck in between the two sites with not that much room. One downside is that you've got your neighbor's sewer right out your front door. Let me go lower, just a little, okay? There. And we are heading out. So long, Reno area. God, those pops are just blah. Not the biggest fan of them. Do you need a ride? Yeah, I do. So long, Reno. I'm going to Elko. Let's do it. Bye bye, Sparks Marina RV Park. Sparks RV Parks. What was that? Love the Sparks RV Park.